Hey everyone, this is Nick Harvey here, and today I'm going to show you just how much of a performance increase you get when using the new small, high CPU gear. Just to give you a quick overview of what I'm running here, I've got two applications, one small and one with the new small, high CPU gear. Both are running MySQL 5.5 and PHP 5.4. I should also mention that both applications are running a full installation of WordPress and it's the same version, as you can see. But enough about that, let's run down to the tests. So I brought up two terminal windows here. The one on my left is SSH into the small gear and the one on my right here is SSH into the small.highcpu gear. Notice here at the top of the tabs, I've got them clearly marked. A quick ls in each directory will show us our first test, which just so happens to be the Fibonacci sequence. This will tax the CPU quite a bit, and we'll get a quick overview on just how much faster that small uh, high CPU gear is. I'll set the control by running the Fibonacci sequence in the small gear first. You can see here I'm just going to append it with that time, and that way we can see the length of time it takes to run it at the end. Taking a little while. We're almost there, and we're done. You can see it took us 13.852 seconds, which isn't bad, but let's see what happens when we run it in the small dot high CPU gear. I'll run the same command. You can already see that it's running a whole lot faster. And boom, we're done with a 3.186 time to complete which is a whole lot better than the 13.852 we did earlier. Now, that's great, but let's go ahead and see what happens when we use some web traffic. To do that, I'll switch tabs, and these are not SSH sessions. These are just local host uh, terminals that will allow me to use the Apache Benchmark Suite to test how many concurrent connections uh, the application can handle at once. Let's see how that goes. For the small gear in my left terminal, I'm going to do 100 requests with a maximum of five concurrent connections. But for the small.highcpu gear, I'm going to bump it up a bit. I'm going to do 200 requests, but make the maximum amount of concurrent connections be 15. Let's see how that goes. I'm going to run the small high CPU gear first so we can see just how fast it is. Let's fast forward and we'll review the real time in the results. And that's it, our test is finished. Wow, look at that. All right, so let's take a look at the small gear and see what it does with less requests and less concurrent connections. Again, let's fast forward and we'll review the time in the results. And it's finished. So it took about 60 seconds for us, a little over 60 seconds for us to complete that test. And we can see that the small high CPU gear did it in about half the time. Pretty impressive. When we take a look at these results, we can clearly see that the small dot high CPU gear has a significant performance increase over the regular small gear. So if you need something with a little bit more power, but the same amount of RAM, then the small high CPU gear is the way to go. Just keep in mind that if you need to grow beyond that, we got you covered with medium and large gears, which will give you even better performance. Thanks for watching. And if you want to keep up to date on the latest improvements on OpenShift Online, go ahead and subscribe to our newsletter and I'll throw the link in the description below. Have a great day, guys.